Okay. All right, so let's let everyone in. Perfect. Oh, thank you. You see that photo somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, 17. Disabled, I've disabled the waiting room, so there's no more waiting room. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We're so glad that you are here for this really special occasion. We're about to get started. I'm scared. No one wants to do this. Are you anything? See, I don't know anyone. I don't know what I'm saying. I saw my tea, I think. Saturday morning Shabbat service and it just so happens that we have a yep. special occasion this morning that we get to celebrate as Hannah Bazo becomes Bat Mitzvah along wow. with her brother Jacob and so our service is going to begin our service is going to begin with a blessing over the Talit this really powerful symbol of connection and commitment to Jewish tradition and so I would like to call upon Joe and Hannah and Jacob to stand up as we we'll offer the Talit to your children, Joe. You gotta stand up. Hmm? Oh, you gotta give the Talit now. Hmm? The Talit. I gotta do it? Mm -hmm. But I have to say something. Yeah. During the years, I have, <clears throat> I have known many stories or versions about the tali. When is that the first time that the person wear tali is when it's at the time of the bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah. Other, in some places in Europe, a man used a tali when he got married, or a woman when it's to be asked to be married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's okay. And another story uh, on version was that they only only to use a tali in morning prayers or junkie poor. Today I'm giving my kids the, their first tali and I hope they use it wisely and pass it to their children and their children's children. In my daughter's case when she's sixty five. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. You say this, I'll say it with you, Jacob, okay? I'll say it with blessings with you. Okay, y'all don't put us. Go turn around. You no, you gotta say the person first. No, I'm gonna say it with him, that's okay. why. So you gotta put it on him first? No, right, just say the blessing. Say the blessing first. Oh, say the blessing oh, first. Oh, oh, I don't know. I, oh, I knew Miller how long I share. Isha, Vatibanu, Vatibanu, Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. Beautiful. And may you wear that talit. May both of you wear your talit tote for many, many, many wonderful and holidays. I thank you for my life, body and soul. Help me realize I am beautiful and whole. I am perfect the way I am and a little broken too. our bodies we continue with blessing our souls those souls that were breathed into us Elohai Elohai Neshama Shenatata prayers for gratitude each day. These words inspiring us, pushing us to think through just how blessed we are. And so Hannah will lead us in our Nisim B'choyom, our blessing daily miracles. Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Baruch atah Adonai. Eloheinu melechalam, who has given the mind and the ability to distinguish day from night. Baruch atah Adonai. Eloheinu melechalam, 
who opens the eyes of the blind. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who frees the captive. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who lifts up the fallen. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who stretches the earth over the waters. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who strengthens our steps. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who clothes the naked. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who, gi who gives strength to the weary. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, removes sleep from the eyes, summer from the eyelids. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who has made me in the image of God. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who has made me free. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who has made me a Jew. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who grids Israel with strength. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, who crowns Israel with splendor. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Mahalam, Asher Kishan Mitzvotah, Betsivanu Lasok Betivrei Torah. Amen. And we continue with the Ashrei. Ashrei Yoshe Veteha, Odia Haleluha Sela, Ashrei Yoshe Veteha. Odia Haleluha Sela, Ashre, 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 Yoshe Veteha, Ashre, 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 Yoshe Veteha. Happy are those who dwell in your house, they will sing your praises forever. Happy are those who dwell in your house, they will sing your praises forever. Ashre Yoshe Techa, Odia Haleluha Sela, Ashre Yoshe Techa, Odia Haleluha Sela. We transition now into our call to prayer. We invite you to stand or to just lift your spirits as we call you to prayer at this time. Yalla lai lai lai, 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 yalla lai lai lai. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Baruchu et Adonai, Hamevora. Baruch Adonai, Hamevora. Leolam ba. Shalom 
the all Maure or Shal Sita, Yafaruha Sela, or Hadas, all Sion Tair, Meniske Kulanu Mehira 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 Leoro, Baruha Tadanai, Yodser Hana Orot. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema And if you are standing, you may be seated at this time as Hannah continues with Vea Hafta. Ha <laughs> The high you let out of out, bene neha. Uftaf tam, amezuzot beteha, uvi shareha. Lemantis keru, basitem et comitotai, betem kiroshim, lohem. Ani, arunai lohem. Asher, hote tiratem. Me eret mitzrayim lehiot lahem Elohim ani Adonai Elohim Adonai Elohim emet. Beautiful, and that prayer, the Via Hafta, speaks about passing the Torah down from generation to generation, and we are so so excited and celebrating you watching as you are leading us so beautifully in prayers. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there, except by joining hands and marching together. Ya bye bye bim bim bye ya bye bye bim bam ya bye bye bim bim bye ya bye bye bim bam ai ai da dai 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 ya bye bye bim bam ai ai da dai 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 ya bye bye bim bam mi khamo kha bai li ma kon dai mi khamo kha ne da ma kon dai no ha ti lo to Israel, Uftechin Mecha Yehuda ve Israel, Koaleinu Adonai Tzavot Shemo, Kedosh Israel, Baruch Atadonai, Kah 
you again if you would like to stand for the Amidah, the central prayer of our people, our moment with God. You may rise or you may just lift your spirits as we join together with Hannah. Adonai sefat hativtach ufiya kiltehilatecha Adonai Sefer Tartif Tach Ufiya Ki Tehilatecha Ba, ba, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu, Elohe Avotinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka Elohe Rahel, Elohe Lea Ha El Hagato Hagivon Panoram El Elyon Gomel Hazadim Tovim Veina Vekone Hako Vekone Hako Zerah Vezoher Cheste Avot Veimahot Vezoher Hase Avot Veimahot Uvne Gula Levne Vene Leman Shemel Beav Melev Ozier Umashia Again Baruhatarunai Megan Abraham, the Rat Sarah, a taggy worn down Raman and I, Mehaye Hakolata, Ravalo Shia, Morid Hata, Mehaye Haim, Mehael Haim Behese, Mehaye Hako Berahamim Ramim, so Mef no fee. Verohe holim, who much see a shrim, who me haye, umato, lishene of a me hama hapa a give who wrote, who me do leha, mele me me, who me haye, who much see a shua, bene ema ata le hayo taco, baru hata runa me. You are the uh, you are the open door that be beckons me in. Peeking around the door frame, I begin to enter your glory. Move me forward, O Eternal. Step step beyond self-made boundaries. Lift my foot over threshold, right? Threshold, threshold that I might be that I might abide with you. In in the way in the house of the eternal, I found my question waiting to be posed. They filled me with wonder. Sit with me, eternal teacher. Encourage my seeking as I fill my hours with, hours with your mitzvot. So I shall be filled. Send me through your door, stretching up your honors, your name, sharing, sharing out this world, enriching myself in the giving. <laughs> Kadesh et shimcha v'aholam Keshem shemakdishim oto bishme barom Kakatuv al yad neviecha Vekara zel ze ve'amar Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh Adonai tzevaot Adireinu Adonai Adoneinu Madir Shimcha Bechol Haaretz Baruch Kevod Adonai Bim Komo Echad U Eloheinu U Avinu U Malkeinu U Moshieinu Vehu Yashmienu Verachamav Leine Kol Chai Adi Adonai Eloheichem Yimloch Adonai Leolam Elohai Yichtiyon Ledor Oh, 
ודור ודור נגיד גול לך ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש ושבחך אלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד ברוך אתה אדוני האל הקדוש. רצון עם רפי, עילול רצון עם רפי, ויגול ליבי לפניך, אדוני צורי וגועלי. O may the words of my mouth The meditations of my heart be acceptable to you Adonai my rock and my redeemer O say shalom bim romav O ya say shalom aleinu So there is a tradition at Temple Bethel that when someone is becoming a bad mitzvah, a bar mitzvah, a breed mitzvah, that we have an opportunity, that that student has an opportunity to ask a question, any question, we call it the burning question. And when I asked Hannah what her question was, she asked, how do you know that the stories in the Torah are real? So Hannah, in response to this, I know that all throughout Torah school, you've heard the stories about Adam and Eve's exploits in the Garden of Eden, of Noah and his ark in the midst of a 40-day flood, of Abraham and Sarah starting out a journey from the only land that they ever knew in order to give birth to the Jewish people and go toward the promised land. You've studied the Exodus, recalling the Pharaoh's harsh treatment of the Israelites and the relief that came when the people were at last free and how the Israelites struggled in the desert. Some of these stories might appear far-fetched. How could God have created the world in just six days, for example? Did God actually have a flood that covered the entire world? Every other year, it seems like someone makes a claim that they have found or are about to find Noah's Ark. Perhaps the story is factual, but I, like many Reformed Jews, believe that although the stories in the Torah may, may not actually be rooted in historical fact, it is nonetheless real. 
The trial was never meant to be a history book, after all. Rather, it is one of our people searching and struggling to find meaning and connection to something bigger. It is a story of faith and hope, of success and failures. It is a story of struggle and a story of blessing. While there are many people who view the stories in the Torah as fact, most of us see them as metaphors for the world in which we live. The flood demonstrates how destructive things can become when we fail to treat other human beings with respect. When the flood is over, a rainbow appears in the sky as a symbol of commitment between God and human beings, the promise of what we can, what can be when we act responsibly and for the betterment of all. The Torah is thousands of years old, and so it contains a glimpse in our early days as a nation. We get an idea of early Jewish practices and concerns in a world that is simultaneously so different from our own, and yet incredibly similar. The stories of our people wandering in the desert speak to their longing to figure out what it meant to be a member of the Jewish people, their search for answers and the important Jewish values that they find. Values that remain so true and important today, from welcoming the stranger to treating everyone with dignity and respect, fighting for justice, looking out for the greater community, and continuing lifelong learning. Hannah, you asked how we know that the stories in the Torah are real. The truth is that we don't, but perhaps it doesn't matter. The wisdom in the Torah offers us so much more, an opportunity to wrestle with our faith and an opportunity perhaps to continue to grow through it. And I know we are all looking forward to hearing your words of Torah that I heard you work so, so hard on as you add a bit of your wisdom to our millennia of Jewish wisdom. And so with that, we are going to get ready for our Torah service. But before we do that, Hannah, I believe that you have some words that you would like to say in your bat mitzvah pledge to continue your Jewish learning. Yeah. I'm about to receive the gift of Torah and, the, and share in the sacred responsibility of teaching Torah to others. I'm able to do this because I have studied and because I have made a commitment to the value of learning in order, to, in order for me to grow as a Jew and share, the, and share with others the blessings that I have received, I, I, have, I accept the responsibility to continue my Jewish education through confirmation and perhaps even beyond. As far as bat mitzvah, I am as as a bar mitzvah. I am responsible for the mitzvah of learning, and I will fulfill that mitzvah. Baruch Hashanai Elohenu Melech Halam Asher Kishanu B'Mitzvah Ta B'Tivanu Lasso B'Tivrei Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who has made us holy with your commandment and and commanded us to be occupied with your words. Baruch Hashanai Elohenu Melech Halam Ham Lamed Torah Lem Ha Yisrael. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who teaches us Torah, who teaches Torah to your to your people, Israel. Amen. Amen. And as both of your children, Joe, are about to recite um, the blessings over the Torah and to and to um, chant Torah for the very first time, I know that you have a few things that you would like to say. So I want to invite you to do that, Joe. I have always said that I won the lottery because I have the best children in the world. Some year ago, I told my children it's a bad story. I told them that in 2002, I passed away and I went to heaven. And when I got there, God told me, oh, Joe, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. You got to go back to earth, but take an angel with you. And I brought Jacob with me. Yes. Through the years, I started to believe my own story. Jacob 
is an incredible good kid or man with a beautiful personality that I never seen anywhere. He surprised me every day, 24 hours a day, included that night when I'm snoring. I believe that Jacob is a true angel. Yo siempre he dicho que he ganado la lotería porque me tocaron los mejores niños del mundo. Hace unos años le conté una historia que yo había fallecido en el 2002 y llegué al cielo. Y cuando llegué al cielo, Dios me dice, regresa a la tierra porque fue un error y llévate un ángel. Y me traje a Jacob. A, 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 con los años estoy creyendo mi propia historia porque Jacob es un niño, un joven increíble que me sorprende todos los días con sus acciones y su bondad. Jacob anda pendiente de mí las 24 horas del día, incluyendo la noche cuando duermo y hasta cuando estoy roncando. Ay, yo realmente creo que Jacob es su madre. Hannah is an incredible responsible girl who has become the lady of the house. And she also our mother. She helped us to plan the, the menu, help us with the kitchen, worries about my medication, and help Jacob to spend his money. <laughs> One of her dreams is to be a psychiatrist so she can cure all my mental problems. Other of her dreams is to go to, to travel to Israel and learn more about the Jewish culture. At home, we are not just a family. We are a team. We plan all movements together. And when we make a mistake, we talk and solve it together. If I have to do something in life, if I have to change something in life, I will change the name of Frank Sinatra's song, uh, My Way, and I will name it Our Way. Hannah is una niña increíble, respon increíblemente responsable, que ha convertido, se ha convertido en la señora de la casa, y se puede decir que hasta nuestra madre. Ella ayuda en casa, planea los, los menús de la semana, ayuda en la cocina, se preocupa por mi medicina y ayuda a Jacob a gastar su dinero. Su sueño es ser psiquiatra para arreglar todos mis problemas mentales. Otro de sus sueños es viajar a Israel para aprender más sobre la cultura judía. Si yo tuviera que cambiar algo en esta vida, cambiaría el nombre de la canción de Frank Sinatra, My Way, a Nuestro Way. What beautiful words for an incredible couple of children that you have, Joe. And one of the most remarkable things about this service and this moment is that you, Hannah, said, you know, my brother never had a chance to become a bar mitzvah, so why doesn't he get to do it too? And so right now, as we go into our Torah service, Jacob will also be reading from the Torah and will be called to Torah for the very first time. And we're going to offer a blessing over each of you on this very, very sacred occasion. So I'd like to call you, Jacob, to the Torah. Yamod Yaakov ben Yosef Aliyah Rishona. Baruch Adonai Hamburach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamburach Leolam Vaed. 
Baruch Atarnai Eloheinu Melech Halom Asher Barhar Barnu Mikohamim Ve'atalanu et Torato Baruch Atarnai Notena Torah Ve'er Adonai El Moshe Ben Mibar Sinai Behel El Moed Behad la hodesh hasheni, bashanai hasheni. Let's say tam, me eretz me trying lay more. Seu et rosh koladan bnei Israel. In a tam, levai abov tam, bel mispar shemot. Call Google Me Let's say I want to taint yeesh Rosh Lyra of Tom Baruch Hu Atar Nai Eloheinu Melech Halam Asher Talarnu Torma Emet Vayahem Olam Natap Batuhenu Baruch Hu Atar Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Yisher Koach Yasher Koach and Jacob don't go away Come uh-huh. back Come back <laughs> Because I have to offer a blessing over you This is a big deal what you just did And we are all so blessed to be able to be here To celebrate this along with you And so I want to offer a Misha Barak prayer for you Misha Barak Avotenu V'yemotenu Avraham Yitzchak V'yakov Sarah Rivcha Rachel Velea, Huyevarach, Et Yaakov Ben Yosef, Shegia, Litzmot, the Mitzvot, Ve Allah Lichvod, Lamakom, Ul Havod, Hatora. May God, who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing to you, Jacob, you who have read from the Torah for the very first time. We are so blessed to have shared the sacred moment with you today. May God watch over you. May you continue to have a life that is filled with blessing of Torah, Jewish learning, of chuppah, the love of loving relationships, and of masim tovim, good deeds. May you find favor before God in the entire Jewish community. And together as a whole, we all say, Amen. 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 Now you're off the hook, Jacob. (laughs) (laughs) And for our second Aliyah, we have so many of Hannah's teachers who are going to be doing this Aliyah. Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bacharbanu Mikol Hamim. Bena Atanlanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai. No ten Torah. Amen. The Ela Shema Tashim Asher Yas Diandu Item Le Liruve Elitur Ben Ben Shedur Le Shema. Shemilel ben ben suisha die. Leave da na shalon ben ben amina die. 
Lavinia Sar uh, Nathan L. Ben Su R. He is Vulu and Yav Ben Halong. He Fahim Yasav Ben Ami Hood Ami Hood Ben Le Lem Le Bimna Shah Gamiel Pendid Pendidasur Baruch Atah Adonai Elohim Elimelech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet Vechaye Olam Nata Betochenu Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen For our third Aliyah we call up Cousin Joseph Bazo. Yamod Yosef Ben Miriam La Alia Shlosha. Baruch et Adonai Hamvora. Baruch Adonai Hamvora Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvora Laum Vaed. Baruch Atai Adonai. Eloheinu mele haolam, asher bahar banu mikol haamin, vinatan lenu et torato, baru ata adonai noten ha torah. Amen. Bevinyamin avitan ben ben geduni. Let on of he is there, Ben Amit Shaddai. La a la a share Pagiel Ben Ben Oho Ahran Baru Atai Adonai. Eloheinu mele haolam, asher natan leinu tarat emet, vihaye olam nata betoheinu, baru ata adonai noten ha torah. Amen. Yishar koach. Yishar koach. For our fourth aliyah, we get a call on the proud dad over there. Joe, Yamon, Yaakov, Ben, Nakarino, Orlinda, La Alia, Haravi. Baru et Donai Hambura. Baruch Adonai Hamburach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hambura Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu Melech Haolan. Ache Bahabanu. Mikol ha ami Benata lanu et torato Baruch atah adonai Noten ha torah Amen Legar ayasav ayasav ben deu el Lenaftali ahi ra ben enan Ele Keruel ha eta Nishie Mata Gavotan Rashe of Israel Baruch Ata Aronai Elohenu Mele Haula Ache Natan Lanu Torat Emet Behaje Olan Nata Beta Henu Baruch Ata Aronai No Ten Ha Torah Ame Ame Nisha Koach Beautiful. And now our fifth and final Aliyah, we get a call of Hana for the very first time. Amod Hana Bat Yosef La Aliyah Hamishi 
Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bar Har Barnu Mikol HaAmim Vela Talanu Et Torato Baruch Adonai Notena Torah Amen Vaikaf Moshe Vecharon Et HaAnashim HaEle Asher Niglu Beshemat, the et cohata, he kill, the hot, the ho dash hasheni, the wait, wait, yod do, Amish behotam, levate, avotam, the misbar, shema, me ben, esrim, shana, bamala, no, bamala, the good lotam. Kaasher, Siva Varanai, et Moshe, Vif Kedem, Vemis Parsinai. Faruha Tadanai, Eloheinu Mahalam, Asher Natalani Torah Emet, Vechaye Olam Nata Betoheinu, Faruha Tadanai. But I don't know, Amen. Anna, that was so beautifully done. And so now that you have officially become a bat mitzvah, being called to Torah for the very first time, this is a Mishaberach blessing for you. Mishaberach avotenu v'yimotenu avraham yitzchak v'yakov, Sarah rivcha rachel v'leya p'yavarach, as Hannah Bat Yosef. Shegia limitzvot, valta lichvod hamakom, lichvod hatorah. May God who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing to you, Hannah, who you've reached the age of responsibility and have been called to the Torah for the very first time. We celebrate the dedication that brought you to this sacred moment today. May God watch over you. May your parents continue to rise. May your father continue to raise you to full adulthood, leading you to a life filled with blessing of Torah, Jewish learning, of chuppah, the joy of loving relationship, and of masim tovim, of good deed. May you find favor before God in the entire Jewish community. And together, all of us say, Amen, mazel tov, and congratulations. Right now, we have been able to hear your words of Torah and what you chanted, but now we are so excited to learn from you as you talk about the verses that you have just read so beautifully. My, my portion is not so. This takes place when Aaron and Moses were leading the Israelites through the Sinai Desert. My, this first portion of the book of Numbers talks about taking a census of the Israelites. From this, Moses and Aaron, Moses and Aaron record each ancestral house that had males that were from the age of 20 years up and were able to bear arms and counted them head by head. This census is not a typical one. A, census w a, a typical census would be counting the number of people, while this census focused on the characteristics of, of the people rather than the numbers. For example, people are listed by their tribe. The Hebrew words for taking a census are shu et rosh, or lifting the head of each individual whose census is taken. The purpose of the sensei was uplifting the identity of the people counted. From this sentence, from this census, the Israelites could tell how strong they were. The census gathered gathered information about how many people could go into battle if in case in case of a threat. There was just one problem, not everyone was counted. As, Mar as Rabbi Margaret Wenning sa said, all those who are too young or too old to bear arms or serve as active members of priesthood aren't worth me mentioning by name or number. But what, what, what Rabbi Wenning said made me upset. She's right, why, is, why isn't everyone worth mentioning? Why are there people who are, why are people who are old or young left out? Why are women left out? According to Rabbi Le Levi Yitzhak, 603,000, 600, 
603,550 people are counted in the census, which is the exact number of letters in the Torah. Every person, every person measured in the census is infinitely precious, and every letter in the Torah contributes to its overall impact. Rabbi Yitzhak is right to, to, to note that every individual that is counted is, preci- is precious, but he does not discuss everyone who is not counted. If all the Israelites are infinitely precious, then why isn't everyone counted? What if the Torah, ha- what if the Torah contained a letter for every individual, not just arm-bearing men? Arms-bearing men. Imagine what the text could have been in- could have been included if only the entire community was counted in the census. We all know what it feels like to not be mentioned or ex- or included. A friend of mine one time got into a fight at school. During the fight, they felt excluded from everyone. Even after everything cooled down a bit, they still felt excluded from activities and friend groups. I didn't like how my friend was excluded. It made me angry. Including everyone is important to me because one because one might not know what someone's situation is. And by excluding them, we could be making that situation worse. In Judaism, we learn to value every single person. We also learn to accept people for who they are, not and not including everyone in the census. This text is this text actually isn't demonstrating the Jewish values that we know. In the beginning of the Torah, when God created Adam and Eve, God created them B'Tselem Elohim in the image of God. This means that every human being is equal. The Torah also teaches us that we are all created from Adam and Eve, teaching us that we are all equal. Everyone deserves to be included. Being included feels like you mean something to people or, or like you belong. Just by including others, you can even make someone's day. This census doesn't include everyone, but we can. Let's do our part and include everyone. Beautifully said, Hannah. And so we now say this blessing that we say the first time we do something in a year. And as this is the first time that you stand up as a young Jewish adult, we offer this blessing that thanks God for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for bringing us to this moment. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehecheyanu vekimanu vehigianu Lazman hazeh when I say that we are blown away. You have a wisdom that is so far beyond your years. And the way that you grappled with this Torah portion was truly inspiring because you saw in the text and you immediately asked this question that I'm not sure how many people your age would think to ask, which is, hey, what's going on here? Why aren't we including everyone? You are someone who embodies the very values that you spoke about, the the values of inclusion, the values of seeing the beauty in every soul around you. In fact, you demonstrated it today because there was no way you were gonna have a bat mitzvah without including your brother. It was important to you that you could do that as a family. It was important to you that you could share this really sacred moment with him. There aren't too many people who would do that, but it just speaks to who you are. I want you to remember throughout this journey and all the learning and the grappling that you have to do in the future, the blessing of being able to wrestle with Torah as you go through that in the years to come, I want you to remember these core values that make up who you are and may they continue to inspire you to be your best self. Today, you demonstrated that not only were you a teacher of Torah for the entire congregation and for the community and for everyone who is blessed to be here, but you certainly were a teacher for your dad and your brother. We heard you coaching them along the way every second. Dad, go here. Jacob, go here. Do this, right? You were so motivated to not only put your own best foot forward today, but to also make sure that they were as well so that you can share in this moment, so that you can be proud of yourself, but also be proud of them. That is truly a blessing. 
One thing that uh, might not be shared elsewhere is that Hannah, in addition to working on her Torah, her blessings, her Devar Torah and everything else, she also organized a drive through the temple in order to um, get laundry detergent for people who live in some of the um, homeless shelters that have come into the area to make sure that people have clean clothes. What a blessing that is to be thoughtful about people who are in need and to make sure that some basic needs that might otherwise not be met are being met. We are so grateful to you, Hannah, for leading us in that way as well. And so today I have the privilege of offering to you the priestly benediction a blessing of holiness that we bestow upon you and that we hope you will carry for um, your, your whole life. May God bless you and keep you. May God shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift up God's face to you and may you always find peace. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Hannah. I could not be any more proud of you today. You, I've watched you grow and, uh, and, and it's so beautiful to look into that room where you are right now and be able to see this entire family that I remember sitting in the pews of Temple Beth El when you were all so much smaller and so much younger, but still so interested and excited about learning about your Judaism. And it's so wonderful to see all of you together again in one space. Your dad was talking to me the other day a little bit about the history of his family and of your family. And he shared with me a little bit more so I understood a little bit more about where you come from. He already spoke so beautifully today about what a gift you and Jacob are to him. And I want you and Jacob to both know that you are gifts to our entire community. And we are so proud as a community of all of you, of both of you. But Hannah, I wanna offer you this blessing today because what touched me about the stories that your dad shared with me was how important, how important it was to him and how important it is to all of us that you carry on this incredible tradition this tradition of our Jewish people. It's important that your Torah portion, there are no accidents in life. There are only God's way of staying anonymous by, by having these coincidences happen in your life. And it's no coincidence that your Torah portion spoke of being counted. Because as of today, you are counted, Hannah. You are counted as a Jewish adult. And it is your responsibility, it is Jacob's responsibility as of today to make sure that this tradition does not stop here, but that this tradition continues on. Lador Vador, from generation to generation, so that we might someday come together to celebrate with you or with Jacob the bar or bat mitzvah or brit mitzvah of one of your children, watching that next generation come forward because of the gifts that you have brought to our community and bring to your family. We are gifts and we are blessings. We are history in song. We are hope and we are healing. We are learning to be strong. We are words and we are stories we are pictures of the past you are carriers of wisdom not the first and not the last 
le dor va dor na gi god le kha le dor va dor you protect this chain from generation to generation le dor va dor these lips will praise god's name Looking back on your journey that we carry in our hearts from the shadow of the mountain to the waters that would part we are blessed and we are holy we are children of God's way and those words that brought you meaning you will have the strength to say le dor va dor na ki to le kha le dor va dor you protect this chain from generation to generation le dor va dor your lips will praise god's name we can't wait to see how those lips of yours speak out for justice speak out for equality speak out for inclusion and most of all speak out for your love of the divine of judaism of torah and of this people among whom you take your spot of leadership today mazel tov mazel tov hana and i know the congregation is so excited to bestow some gifts on you so we have a few presentations about some of the things that you will get if you haven't gotten them already and the first is on behalf of the temple board donnie paquin Hi, Hannah. My name is Don. Oops. Hi, Hannah. My name is Donnie Paquin, and I am here uh, in, on behalf of the board of directors. First of all, a huge mazel tov. You did such a beautiful job and should be so proud of your accomplishments. We loved be being able to be here with you and, and watching you read Torah, and lead us in such a beautiful service. So thank you. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to present you with a certificate commemorating this amazing day. And I would also like to present you with your very own set of High Holidays Mahzorim so that you can study and learn and pray with us for years and years to come. It has been an honor to share this special day with you and your family. Mazel tov on becoming a bat mitzvah. Thank you so much, Donnie. And we hope that you enjoy all of those gifts, Hannah. And now we have Lisa Weiss, who's gonna say a few words on behalf of Sisterhood. Hi, Hannah. On behalf of Sisterhood, we would want to wish you a mazel tov. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. And we'd like to present you with this kiddish cup from the Sisterhood to you. Mazel tov, Hannah. And we're not done quite yet. <laughs> we also have Jamie Lowenstein, who is here on behalf of the Mensch Club. Congratulations on, it's okay if my video is not on, but uh, congratulations, Hannah and, and Joe. You guys are awesome. As part of the, oh, there they are. As part of the Temple community and the Mensch Club, we're always here for you. Uh, from anything you ever need, we're, we're, we always got your back as part of the Temple community. Great job, so proud of you, and we can't wait to see you grow and continue in your future endeavors. So congratulations, great job. Thank you so much, Joe. We're still not done yet, we still have two more. So on behalf of, actually, no, I'm calling our Director of Education, Randy Scher, to offer you something as well.
sorry about that. Um, I'm honored to be here today. I don't know if um, any, oh, start again. Um, I've had a long uh, t time relationship with the family. Hannah, I don't know if you even know, but the first time I met your family was before you, uh, your brother was in pre um, working at this place. Then I saw you a few years later uh, as both of you were in elementary school and watched you grow and, um, and, and mature. And then I was thrilled to see you this year when I started at Temple Bethel and that you were involved in classes and you have been working as a madracha in our school. I know Israel is important to you and I think that this book will be as well. It's a gift from the Federation and Mazel Tov to all of you. Thank you so much, Randy. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have Jordan Davidson here on behalf of Speedy and Nifty. Mazel tov, Hana, on your major accomplishment of becoming bat mitzvah. For those of you on the Zoom call that don't know me, my name is Jordan Davidson, and I'm the programming vice president for Speedy San Pedro Temple Youth. Um, Speedy is a part of NIFTI, the North American Federation of Temple Youth, and it represents nice. a portion of the members from NIFTI's Southern California region. High schoolers from San Diego to San Luis Obispo attend fun and educational weekend retreats throughout Southern California throughout the year. And we hope that you'll choose to join NIFTI and attend NIFTI SoCal events with us in the near future. So NIFTI members are given a necklace with beads at every event that they attend and many niftyites choose to adorn their necklaces with charms so on behalf of speedy i would like to present you with a charm for your future nifty necklace i would also um, like to present you with a 250 dollar gift certificate to put towards a trip to israel that i just heard you're looking forward to so I cannot express how proud I am of you and how much I, you've grown Mazel Tov from the bottom of my heart and from Speedy. Thank you so much, Jordan. And Hanna, we are absolutely all beaming with pride. And we hope that you will use and take advantage of every single one of these gifts over the many, many years to come. I know that you wanna say a few words of thanks as well. Thank you all of you. Uh, but I would like to thank all these people for their support, the board of directors for the Bat Mitzvah certificate and for the Ho High Holy Days prayer book, the Temple Bethel Sisterhood for the, for the Kiddush Cup that I received and the Mensch Club for the candlesticks. I would also like to thank the North American Federation for, of the Temple of Youth for the, 200, for the $200 50 gift certificate for a trip to Israel after my confirmation year. The, Lo the Los Angeles Federation for the book Israel Matters given to me by the educator Randy Share. Um, I would also like to thank Rabbi Kale Cantor Davidson and Randy Share for helping me prepare for this day. Cantor Davidson, thank you for helping me get through. Thank you for helping me with my prayers and trope. Even though I almost tried to quit once, you still helped me. Um, Rabbi Kale, thank you for helping me write my Devar Torah. But most, impor but most importantly, I would like to thank my dad who has o who for always helping me, even when I'm a pain in the butt. To be honest, I think my father des deserves the world for how much he puts up with me. And he also deserves the biggest thanks. And of course, can't forget Jacob. He, <laughs> he, he also deserves the biggest thanks. The reason I say this is because he's always putting up with me and, oh, and also spending his money on me. But I do love him, which is why he also deserves a big thanks. Thank you, Ali's Bet, for always being there for me and helping me get to where I am today. But also, thank you for helping me convince my dad to take us shopping all the time. <laughs> Another thank you I would like to give is to Sophia, Victor, and Celeste. We all, 
and we obviously can't forget to thank those who attended from far away, so thank you. Lastly, I would like to thank all of you who are here today to celebrate with me. You're welcome. <laughs> so beautiful, but in the entire family, we are just so, so grateful. And I know that right now, um, this has been a beautiful service. We're, we're all glad that we've had the chance to be a part of it. But right now we are also remembering people who couldn't be here today, but who are no doubt looking down on you and have been celebrating with you from on high. We are remembering Olinda Bazo and Nikonori Bazo, your grandparents. We're going to take a few moments to offer the Kaddish, the Mourner's Kaddish prayer in their memory and in memory of all people who are no longer with us, but whose legacy remains on all of our hearts. And I invite you to join with me. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba, v'alma v'ivrach v'rotei v'yamlich malchote, v'chai yachon v'yom yachon, v'chayi d'kol beit Yisrael, Bagalau Vizman Kariv Imru Amin. Yehesh me Rabba Mivarach Leolam Lame Amaya. Yit Barach Vish Tabak Vit Paar Vit Rabam Vietnase. Vit Hadar Vit Halev Yit Halal Shme de Kudisha Beruchu. Le Lam Minkol Birchata Vishirata. Tush Vichata Vinachamata. Da Miram Velma Vimru Amin. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, the Chayim Aleno Vel Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. O se Shalom Ben Ramav Kuvi, a se Shalom, Aleno Vel Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Zichonam Livacha, may their memories always be a blessing. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Shalom Roma, who ya ase shalom aleinu. O se shalom bim Roma, who ya ase shalom aleinu. O se shalom bim Roma, who ya ase shalom aleinu. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom. Shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol ha'olam. Mazel tov. Mazel tov indeed. So right now I know we are all so anxious to wish Hannah and her family and Jacob, a hearty mazel tov. I invite everyone to stay around and to be able to do that right